Good afternoon, Vista. I just want to thank Pastor Dave for leading us and allowing this church to to do God's great and mighty wonders, not only in our own lives and in our own hearts. He trains us and teaches us, but then he allows us to go out wherever God puts on us to do that in the world. And so thank you, Pastor Dave, and thank you, Vista. I come here with a message from a gathering that's happening right now in La Ceiba, Honduras. And this gathering of people is not quite the norm. They are a group of people who 15 years ago had no language. No language. Try to wrap your mind around that. We can't because we've always had language. 15 years ago, no language. They didn't know their names. Didn't know their names. They didn't know that there's a creator who created them perfectly and who knows their name, who intimately knows them. Didn't know this 15 years ago. So now, they know Christ. They know his powerful and mighty works in their lives. And last weekend, finished preaching, and I told them the plan that I was going to come to the Vista. And they know your peeps from the Vista. They love your church. And so they told me, okay, Robin, you go. We know you're going to be God's voice. We're, we're going to be praying for you because we know you get nervous. But please tell them these three things. One, let them know we're so grateful. And so thank you from the deaf in La Ceiba. They said, number two, let them know that we love them. So I'm actually supposed to hug each and every one of you. So consider yourself hugged right now. And number three, they said, let them know that we keep them in our prayers. And this one to me is, there's no words for it. Prayer, I have learned over these last 16 years, especially that Prayer is the single most important, powerful thing that we can do for someone else. Ourselves, too. But let's focus on others right now. And so when they say that they pray for you, they mean they pray for you. And I love it that now they're doing it. And the reason why Signs of Love exists is for lives like Amanda. And Amanda, 15 years ago, yes, she had no language. She started coming to our gatherings, just like the rest of them. And we would start teaching language and start teaching the Bible, teach language through the Bible, do silly dramas and dress up like Jesus and the kings and whoever to, to get the point across. And people started learning. And then there was Amanda. Amanda was always expressionless, never started learning language. But Amanda would notice things that needed to be done. She would see a piece of trash there and she would go and pick it up and throw it away. She would see somebody's drink that was empty that needed to be filled and she'd go and do it. She was a servant. And one day I put a paper on the wall and I said, all right, everybody, if you want to go with me to a faraway village and go find other deaf people and teach them just like what you're learning now, put your name right here. So everybody, almost, got what was going on. So after they all left, I took the paper down, and I'm looking at who signed up, and I see one of the lines was this big X. And I thought, hmm, it didn't take me long to figure out who that one was. So the next week when they came, I showed them the paper, and I'm like, who's, who's the X? Everybody points to Amanda, like, oh, it's Amanda the loser, that's her. And that's when I realized she still, she still doesn't even know her name. I can't, I can't understand what that must feel like. I can't but he can. And so Amanda started coming with us to the villages and a year went by and Amanda still was expressionless. She still didn't understand language. Amanda was that one that was always kicked to the curb. She was the one that they all pointed at and laughed at. And Amanda, through her tears, <laughs> would continue picking up the trash, picking up the markers, doing what needed to be done. And it's because of Amanda that God taught me a very powerful lesson and this lesson speaks to my life almost on a daily basis. You never give up. You never give up on anyone. I know that right now today, God is speaking to, to some of your hearts. You never give up. And it's true. You never give up because what happens? You keep pressing in. You keep believing with faith. You keep being light in the darkness. 
and he's going to come through. It's his promise. It's that simple. Timelines don't matter. We keep plugging on, and we keep marching forward, and it's going to happen. <clears throat> so Amanda, after about a year and a half, she started. She started with her expressions. She started learning language. She, start, she started getting it. So much so that today she is one of the strongest leaders we have in La Ceiba. She is my friend. She is a spiritual guru. And she not only is doing wonders for the kingdom, but several years back, she met her husband through a Signs of Love program. And years ago, he had no language. Those two got married. He is, he is a phenomenal man of God. Amazing, amazing man. Can tell a Bible story almost as good as Pastor Dave. And those two now have a little boy, a little hearing boy. And their life is beautiful. And it has purpose and it has meaning. Their lives are the story of why Signs of Love exists. We're doing this in lives. He's doing this in lives scattered all around this globe. And church, I just am so excited to share with you today that <laughs> he's alive and he's a miracle worker. And he doesn't end. He doesn't stop. And when we're willing to be those conduits and say, Lord, please, here I am. Use me. He's faithful. He's so faithful. So I just want to say today, whatever, whatever dreams and passions and things he speaks to you, please advance forward. We are warrior strong. That's what he has created us to be. So Onward Church, I thank you so much for being a part of Signs of Love and what we're doing. And we are praying for you that you will just say yes to him in John 14, 15 style. And yes, that's really in the Bible. And it says, Jesus says, if you love me, obey me. Onward, church.